Hey, Jason, this is Brian with LPT Realty. Hey, uh, you know, get up. Don't lean on your back. Unfold your arms. You're going to have to take it a little more seriously if you want to get good at this. You're about to watch some role play within the Conversion Academy, and I want you to pay attention because there's three people role playing here. Number one is one of our coaches, Jason. The second one is a brand new agent within the Conversion Academy. And the third one is one of the group coaching students inside the Conversion Academy that's been working with me for three weeks so far. I want you to pay attention to each of their skill level because they're a little different. So uh, watch to the end. Hey, Anthony, this is Jason Wyndham with EXP. I was calling about the property over there on Main Street. Is that still for sale? Make it tough for him. Um, no, right now it's it's taken off market. We're just not interested. Yeah, Anthony, I saw that it came off the market. I was actually really surprised that it didn't sell. Anthony, did your agent give you any feedback as to why the property didn't sell? Yeah, he just kept telling us to lower the price, so... I just didn't want to work with that guy anymore. Oh yeah, it, Anthony, and a lot of agents, that's gonna be their default solution is just to lower the price, lower the price. And actually, Anthony, that's 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 half my competition. Uh, and it's and it's really frustrating. So Anthony, what had you put the house on the market in the first place? Um well we were just trying to see if the if the sale was gonna get us good money and then decide from there. Got it. So you have a certain price point that you're trying to hit, that's what I'm hearing? Uh, yeah, depending on how the offers look, we were going to sell it or not, but we just took it down. Got it. Okay. And Anthony, what, pri at what price point would you consider actually taking an offer on this house? Um, we were looking for 750. 750. Okay. And Anthony, what, what is important about hitting that number? Well, it would just make it so that we can comfortably buy another one. Okay, so you actually have a house that you're you're gonna buy now. Do you have that house picked out already, or is that something that Anthony, you need to, Anthony, we need to find? Anthony, show some resistance on the phone. Um, no, uh, we we haven't really looked into it. So at this point, we're just we're not really gonna put it up for sale. Okay, uh, well, Anthony, it sounds to me like you know you have a certain price point that you would consider selling. So Anthony, if I could show you a way that I could actually get you uh, this house sold, make it make financial sense. And, and find you that a great deal on your next home. And it sounds to me like there's a whole reason why you put your house on the market in the first place, right? Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm just not really interested because you guys are calling me now when it, like it's been six months. Where where was everybody at, you know, when this one was actually up? Yeah, Anthony, I was actually busy prospecting, getting multiple offers on my listings. So if I could show you a way that I could actually market your house properly this next time around, generate multiple offers, negotiate them strong and put you in the best financial position. It sounds to me like that'd be, that just makes sense for you, correct? Uh, well, honestly, I don't know because I feel like everybody's telling me the same thing anyway. So the last agent that I worked with, you know, he gave me the same impression. Yeah, Anthony. And like I said, my competition is, is, you know, two weeks ago they were making sandwiches. And in fact, a lot of them are out of the business now. And there's a reason why my homes are selling, Anthony, and a lot of agents aren't. So, Anthony, before you make any decisions, let's get together. I can go over exactly what I'm doing to position my sellers in a place that's netting them a lot more money than any other agent. And if I can make this make financial sense, we could talk about the next steps. So, Anthony, I got time tomorrow at six or would seven be better? Um, you know, I'm actually very busy with work most of the time. So it'd be best if you just could send me some of that information first and I could always call you back. Yeah, Anthony, I can definitely send you some information. In fact, Anthony, what I'll go ahead and do is overnight you what's called a pre-listing packet. Okay. It's going to have information about me, my company, what we do differently to get home sold the second time around. And Anthony, I want you to take a look at that before we meet. Are you going to be around uh, this after tomorrow afternoon or this weekend? Um, yeah, the only the only days off I have is usually Sunday. But uh, okay, perfect. If Anthony, you could send that over. I could confirm with you by by that time. A hundred percent, Anthony. And I'm a real estate agent, a professional, and I work weekends, nights, all that stuff. And that's why I'm one of the top agents. So, Anthony, I'll tell you what. I'm going to overnight through that listing packet. And let's go ahead and meet then on Sunday at noon. Does that work for you? Um, it will have to probably be a little bit later. I get out of out of church, okay. not not too soon before that. Perfect. Let's make it two o'clock. Um, yeah, that that may work. I will I will just have to make sure like nothing pops up. Sure, Anthony. Would there be any reason uh, between now and then that we couldn't meet at Sunday at two? Well, honestly, 
I'm not sure. You know, sometimes my wife is pretty spontaneous and we're we're not home at that time. So sure. OK, Anthony. Well, hey, I'll tell you what, man. Let's go ahead and book the appointment for two. And um, and then I'll, I'll confirm right before but right before we meet. Sound fair enough? Uh, Yeah, that sounds fair. All right. See you at two o'clock. Damn, that was wow, good. Jason. Let, let, let me break this down for you guys because for a lot of you guys, what you see Jason doing might be extremely complicated. But Jason's really just using the framework and he's creating no resistance. He's gliding like air. He's, he's really gliding like wind through an obstacle. Like there's zero resistance. Anytime Anthony throws some garbage at him, Jason's like, okay, yeah, great. Yeah, no, that's perfect. Let's just do this. Oh yeah, no, that's totally fine. Let's do this. All you agents are the same. Yeah, a lot of us suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jason's creating yeah. no resistance, no drag. It's pure like aerodynamic, and Jason's following the structure. It's statement statement of acknowledgement, motivation question. Statement of acknowledgement, motivation question. What was the point of that 750? Where were you planning on going after you got that 750? Statement of acknowledgement, motivation question. Got after he gets the motivation. Now it's time. Now it's time. Now it's time to go to the problem. Statement of acknowledgement, problem question. Statement of acknowledgement, prop. Now we got the problem. Pre-close, close. Objection. Handle the objection. Close. Objection. Handle the objection. Close. It's it's a very simple formula. The statements of acknowledgements will change, and you'll like you'll develop them and have them canned. They're canned lines that you'll memorize. Give me 10 seconds to plug two things. Number one, the Yoon Group. If you've got clients that you want to refer my way over in the greater Seattle area in Washington, I'd be more than happy to help them. Number two, if you want to set more listing appointments and learn how to take more listings, just like how you're hearing in this video, hop into the Conversion Academy. It's an affordable monthly price for everyone. This is a Monday call we have every week. So if you want to join us, hop into the call. I'd be more than happy to help you get better at this. All right, Brian, ring me up. Hey, Jason, this is Brian with LPT Realty. I'm calling about Main Street. Is that still for sale? Hey, uh, you hey know. get up. Don't lean on your back. Unfold your arms. Because that's a, that will change your tonality. Hey, Brian, turn your, let Brian turn his camera off. Bring some passion, man. Bring some, bring some energy. Bring some fire here. All right, cool. Hey, Jason, this is Brian with LPT Realty. I'm calling about Main Street. Is that still for sale? Uh, no, it's off the market. Oh, it's, it's off the market. Well, hey, I noticed, I, I noticed the home had sat on the market for quite a while. Um, over really over the average days of market. I was a little bit surprised though. I was wondering why, why do you, why do you think the house didn't sell? Well, you know, I think that the interest rates, uh, suck right now. And, you know, we got some feedback about, uh, the carpet and stuff so we'll, we'll probably you know probably replace the carpets and wait till the interest rates go down and then and then try again later okay okay well what exactly about the interest rates do you think really affected the sale of your home hey brian before you do that why don't you confirm that positive what i just said mm -hmm. it was okay perfect so it sounds to me like you definitely still do want to sell it's just a matter of of of, of having it make sense for you right statement of acknowledgement Hey, Brian, your tone sounds great, by the way. That's night and day difference. Yeah, 100%. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Brian. So, so yeah, I think we're, you know, we'll probably replace the carpets and then we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and probably relist a little bit later. Okay, great. I mean, it sounds like you're still trying to get this home sold. So, so, so what, what exactly about the interest rates did you think was going to affect the sale of the home? Well, uh, you know, I think there's a lot less buyers and I think if the interest rates go down that, that, uh, we'll, we'll have a better shot again, what we're looking for. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, I tell you, you know, while your home was sitting on the market, me and my team, we had sold our listings, um, within a week or so with multiple offers, you know, so what, what, what made you want to put the house on the market in the first place? Well, actually, we're uh, looking to downsize. We're getting a little older. We don't need a two-story house anymore. So we're, we're actually looking to uh, get, get something a little bit smaller. Might even move out into a different area, but um, kind of the yard is too much for us at this point. I got you. I got you. I'm guessing the kids aren't around anymore, huh? Uh, yeah, kids are gone, long gone. We're, we're getting older, so we're just looking to get something, something a little smaller without a smaller yard. 
I got you. And wh where exactly did you plan on going? Like I said, you know, we'll either stick around or, or we'll go, we'll go. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of up in the open. It's kind of uh, up in the open for now. We're, I mean, we're retired, so I don't know. We might just move to Arizona for all I care, you know, I, for all I care. Okay, well, hey, Jason, look, you know, if, if we still sell your house and get you over, well, well. Go for it. You're, you're, do, you're doing it right. You're, you're, you're doing this great. So close. Okay. Pretty close. Mm -hmm. If we can, if we can solve problem to get him to his motivation. Okay. If we can still sell your house and get you to a downsized. different size uh, or downsize to downsize mm -hmm. home, does that make sense? That's Jason. Home. Is that still something you would want to do? Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, if I can think, if I can get what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, look, Jason. You know, before we make any decisions, let's let's get together. Go over how we could get your property sold the next time around and get you to a home that you could downsize in. I've, I've got time today at four or six. What works best for you? I'll do six o'clock for the sake of time. And, oh, and Brian, mm -hmm. uh, congrats, man. Yeah, turn your camera back on. Great job uh, the second time around. Your tonality was like night and day different. So, you know, whatever you did, shook it off, stood it off, brought the energy, whatever, whatever changed. Uh, was, was definitely a lot better. So you just got, you know, it's just going to take practice. And like Aaron said, get a role play partner for sure. Brian, on your clothes to make it more effective, instead of talking about getting his house sold, I would have, I would have addressed his issue of making this make financial sense. If we could get your home sold for something that makes financial sense for you and get you into your next downsize, whatever. Okay. You have to, you really have to pay attention and use their motivation, like their motivation and problem that they tell you is like verbally word for word. You need to use that. Like if they tell you about like, they're really looking for something with a beautiful backyard, cause that's super important to them. You need to close them based on a beautiful backyard. Okay. Can't just be like, let's just, be, let's, let's get you into a better home. No, let's get you into the right home with a beautiful backyard. Okay, awesome. So it looks like you still want to sell it. Um, just looks like a timing issue right now. Why, why, why next year? Uh, you know, I, I think the interest rates will be better. Uh, we really, uh, you know, I think that's basically the main reason why we didn't get our home sold is interest rates. So I think uh, next year we'll have a better shot at getting what we want. Okay, is that what your agent told you? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of common knowledge, right? You're a real estate agent. The interest rates kind of suck right now, so there's not a lot of buyers out there. Yeah, you know, I hear uh, Jason. I hear a lot of agents say the same thing um, that they blame the market. But uh, when your house, while well, your house sat on the market for um, 200 days, my team and I sold over uh, five houses at the same time with multiple offers. So the market is actually pretty good. And um, what made you um, decide to sell it in the first place, Jason? We are actually looking for a bigger house. Here, pause one sec. Not you. You just sat there and you did take it to the next question. But I, I want to let you know, like, make sure you don't just sit there like that. Don't pause. No. Why would you pause? Like, what are you pausing for? They're them to take control of the conversation. No. No. So just say the say the thing which you which you said great wonderfully and then take it immediately to the next step. You're, con you're in control here. Okay. What made you uh, decide to sell in the first place, Jason? We're actually looking to get a bigger home. We got a, I'm working from my office and you know, we got a kid that's gonna need her own bedroom soon. So realistically, I need more space. Okay. Okay, I understand. More space sounds great. Um, Jason, so it looks like if you still get the right price, you're still interested to sell it um, in order to move to a, to a bigger home. It sounds like that's what you wanted to do in the first place, right? Well, I mean, yeah, if I could get what I wanted now. Okay. So, uh, Jason, before we make any decision, I would like to show you exactly why your house did not sell the first time around and show you what we do differently in this market to get multiple offers and uh, get your house sold. I have, and then you can make a decision from there. I have availability tomorrow uh, at four or six. What time works? Let me talk with my wife. Um, I don't, I know that we both talked about holding off for a while. So 
why don't why don't you give me a call back? I'll talk with my wife, and if she feels like that's something that we want to do now, I can I can let you know then. Yeah, well, I understand definitely. You definitely want to have uh, your wife agree to this. Was she on board with you when you decided to list the house in the first place? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously. Okay, so you both are on the same page of of moving. Um, Jason, I can do this. Um, hey, real quick, I'm not, totally want I'm not great, yes. great job on these. I keep smiling because I'm like, I'm proud of that you, you know which way to go. And not, when someone gives you a confirmation like that, when they answer the question in the way you want, you need to really like confirm, like Jason said earlier, you need to give them that, okay, great. Was your, was your wife on board when you originally wanted to sell your home in the first place? Yeah, obviously. Okay, great. You're saying exactly what I want you to say. Okay, great. Okay, or like exactly. And that's exactly why we need to, whatever. Like you need to, Make it clear. You're saying the right thing. Okay? So try that again. Try that wife okay. again. Was your wife on board? Okay, great. Um, sure. Was she on board with you in the first time when you wanted to sell the house? I mean, yeah, it was actually her idea. Okay, great. And that's exactly what I would, I mean, what do I say here? Um, Okay. Do I actually tell them right now about the pre-listing? Like if to send you the pre-listing or what? Yeah, I would. I would say, uh, Anat, I would say, okay, perfect. So before you guys make any decisions, what I'm going to do, uh, Anat, is I'm going to go ahead and overnight you what's called a pre-listing packet. It's going to have some information about me, my company, and what we do differently to actually get home sold the second time around. And I want you to take a look at that with your wife. And I want you to come up with any questions or concerns that you got, that the two of you might have that way we can address them first thing when we get together tomorrow at six or would seven be better? Okay. Okay, great. Uh, Jason, I'm going to send you over um, a pre-listing packet about my company and uh, about the information that we have and how do we sell the house um, second time around. And I want you to go over this with your wife. Um, come up with any questions that you have. And when we meet together tomorrow, either at four or six, I'll go over all your objections or I mean, Questions all your concerns. concerns. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. And if they object again, okay, right? If she said, no, 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 let me talk with my wife, then we'll get back to you. Now, Anat, I know that your goal, guys' whole goal here was to, to get this property sold so you guys could get in a bigger home. And I'm sure that your wife would be happy to be there sooner rather than later, correct? I'm role playing mm -hmm. with you at this point. Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, Anat. Well, let's let's do this. Let's get together tomorrow at six. I'll send you my overnight package. Come up with any concerns, and then we'll meet then. Right? Just if they if they still give you any pushback, then just re loop it back to the motivation, right? And ask more questions about that. And eventually, they're going to say, you know what? Sure. Make sense? Yeah. If they keep resisting, though. If they're like, yeah, I, I, I still got to talk about it with why, 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 my wife. You want to find out why? Okay, yeah, man, I, I, I get it. Uh, of course, I'd be working for the both of you, so you guys both need to be on the same page. What exactly do you need to talk about with your wife? Because that's going to that's gonna uncover another problem for you to handle, yeah. to get rid of, get that out of the way, and then go in for the close again. Hope you enjoyed that. Again, this is something that we do weekly on Mondays in the Conversion Academy. So if you want to join in, it's super cheap, it's affordable, it's a low monthly price. So get in on the action if you want to learn how to take one to four new listings a month. And also, if you've got referrals for the greater Seattle area in Washington, I am more than happy to help your clients. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you made it to this point, I want to know who you are. So in the comments below, write in, wow, what great role play. And I'll know who you are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.